Hey, I'm Krista Wax. You are listening to MSP Sound on KFAI, and I am joined by the one and only Maida. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Pretty, pretty good. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Of course. I I mean, I heard you had a new album out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's called Infected, and it's a very long time coming. Um, it's just, uh, songs that I've written, uh, like pre pandemic through the pandemic till now. So it's kind of like the journey that we've all kind of gone through, uh, individually. So yeah, it's just songs from that time. Yeah. When did, uh, murder, murder pop came out? Was that 2018 or 2019 or? That sounds about right. I never, I don't remember, but I believe, actually, I think it was 2018. Okay. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just make the songs and I put them out there. Uh, but yeah, it felt like, it feels like it's been forever since I've like put out any sort of product, I guess. Yeah. Keeping us all in suspense. Like, when is the next album coming out? When is the new? Oh album? my gosh! Oh my gosh! I think there's uh other things that people are probably thinking about than my album, but that's very nice to hear. If you if people are, I think they are. I know. I was excited. I was very excited when you emailed me, and it, it was your new album. I. I knew I had seen the event coming up, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but I definitely did an audible scream. And that was very exciting. Krista gets excited. <laughs> well, I'm flattered. I am very flattered because I, I mean, yeah, I just, that was like almost a cold email. Cause I was like, cause I don't know you that well at all. And then we've never talked. So I was like, if she doesn't respond, I don't care just got to get it out there no I do care but you know just got to try you know so sweet I know and sometimes you do you just got to give up that control and be like I did my part um and then whatever happens happens but I that definitely made my day so it's an incredible incredible album congratulations like it is so many favorites on that one um I played gold on last week's show and I mean it's just an incredible track thank you so much that means a lot because that that song comes from well all my songs come from like you know my my being and my experiences and but that really uh that was kind of a realization a hard and good realization song, I guess, for me. But so I'm glad that other people and like yourself are um, feeling it a little bit at the least. Absolutely. So what was, so where did you, where did you record this album? Where did all that? Um. It was mainly at my friend Kyle's house, who also plays horns and does a little bit of keyboards. He did mostly engineering and producing, but um, yeah, it was mainly at his house and then at other people's houses. I don't think I recorded anything in a studio. Yeah, in like in a legit actual studio, but so yeah. Just kind of DIY. I was wondering. I mean, not. I didn't. You seem like you'd be DIY. Like, yeah, DIY. Did I say DIY? No. D- I think- did I say DWI or DIY? <laughs> I, I could have. But um, no, yeah, it was DIY. Most of my stuff is DIY. D, I, Y. I'll have to talk. I have to talk slower because I'm just going to like start saying random words soon. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> words with Meta. I don't know. <laughs> It'll, it can happen. 
can happen. <laughs> well, that's awesome. You did so recording at DIY style at different people's homes. That's mm-hmm. why not? That's incredible. It's still, I mean, it's an amazing quality too. So it works. Yeah. I mean, it's, it keeps things inexpensive and more laid back and more, I guess, human. Like it feels less transactional, I guess, than like going to a particular building with a name and, uh, you know, but yeah. And it's my friends. So it makes it triple quadruple enjoyable absolutely and a lot less pressure yeah and i mean it 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 also since some of it was recorded during the pandemic like it there was that you know tension and like difficulty of trying to just exchange like trying to even like make contact, you know, because how do you record in a studio when you can't be in the same studio? But I mean, electronics and stuff and apps, even like we find ways, right? We, it's kind of what what our whole thing was this whole, these past five years is trying to find, just trying to find ways to get to each other. And I mean, when we can't see each other in person, when it's hard to even talk on the phone, like that's why everyone's glued to the internet. And now that we're out of it, well, sort of, um, we're still trying to find ways. And when face-to-face is now a little bit, not because anxiety is just like, off the charts way off the charts for most people and social anxiety especially like now that we are actually allowed to see each other it's like okay we should be really glad to see each other we should be outside and going to shows and stuff and like now we realize what we had when we were when it's taken away but now there's so much social anxiety that people are like, I'd rather just stay in the walls than I know, you know, not, not that doomsy sounding, but like, you know what I mean? So that's kind of like what the album is like that, that getting through that and trying to get, trying to get to each other and through, through the anxiety. And I guess that's a, a really, each song has its own kind of level and a mountain of anxiety, you know, whether it be like, oh my God, I'm trapped within the walls. I just want to see my, my significant other. I just want to see my friend. I just want to see a person. And now it's like, okay, I just want to at least talk to them because like I feel weird now now that I can but I you know I don't know if I you can identify with that or if anybody can but I think that some people can like now realize like I don't really feel comfortable in a social setting now after that or I don't you know I used to go out on Friday and Saturday Monday Tuesday And now I just kind of want to stay at home. And that feels like, am I getting FOMO? Am I getting, you know, I'm talking a lot. I'm sorry, but this is, this is what the album, uh, that's kind of what I'm trying to portray through the album is just that conflict that people have within themselves and then with the world and how to navigate that. I think yeah. you're talking the right amount. So you're okay. So first okay. of all, you're okay. And okay. yes, we are definitely all feeling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I If I'm doing all the talking in your interview, there's something wrong here. So I'm glad. You, okay. You know, so we're good. We're good. And yeah, I, I definitely 
have felt that way. The anxiety about going out or the anxiety about what is happening out there or what's been happening out there, like crime wise and like, you know, just all those things, things we took for granted pre pandemic about, you know, yeah, going out every night or multiple nights and not a care in the world just and coming back into it. And it's like, well, how much of this do I want to get back into the real world and how much of it was I doing too much <laughs> but this mm-hmm. is, we've all had a nice long break and during those times during the pandemic it was nice to you know have a, a flavor of normality here and there and we never took it for granted and now it feels like we're in this space of yeah kind of we're trying to figure out how to navigate now I'm talking too much okay I'm done no. This is just a conversation. <laughs> um, no, I, yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure some, there are a lot of people who are just like, yay, we're free finally, you know, blah, blah, blah. But if you think about it, like, we're just, now we're all free, but now there are all these, uh, these new things and, you know, natural disasters are going to continue to come and, that's not like a virus or anything, but it is still, you know, something that is uncontrollable. And um, it, I mean, the album is is titled "Infected," and it does have a track called "Infected." But the I, um, the idea behind the name "Infected" is that, yeah, we we got like this crazy virus that sparked everything and like races there's people are cops are killing people innocent people like what like no that's been going on for a while you know like a little bit you know and so we've always been infected with something We've always been affected with racism. We've always been affected with viruses. We've always been affected with, you know, classism and all these isms. Like we've, they've always been bad. It's just the internet made it like more, made people more aware of it or actually just like sat them. Internet was able to sit people down and say, hey, we've always had these freaking problems like this isn't new here unfortunately people have tuned out the history a little bit but yeah we've always been infected and we always will be and now that we can see each other we're still infected by what natural disasters and you know still racism and who knows what's going on with the government like sheesh there's always something and yeah it's i it's a little negative now that I'm thinking about and talking about it and actually thinking about it more but um it's just reality I guess and a lot of the songs on the album are very poppy and fun and that's mostly like my style is kind of like when things get so overwhelming and if you can't like crawl up in a ball it's like you kind of have to like nervous laugh or like just make a joke or like give up what what kind of relief can you get you know um if you can't go anywhere if you can't you don't want to break the law or you've broken the law enough there's you still can't do anything like you just have to you know you have music you have art you have different ways of communicating like music like you don't need to go places except for my show um um, you don't actually need to go anywhere to listen to good music and communicate but uh I mean which is the beauty of music but you know I kind of did that I just jumped from cloud to cloud there no I'm with you I'm following I'm following (laughs) okay no no you're right we are always infected by something and now yet what is going on with the weather this is not this is not okay 
what's happening. I mean, that's, I know we're not, we're not having a global warming meeting or climate control meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not why I gathered you here. (laughs) If we wanted to. Sure. Well, we can tackle that. Sure. But no, like the air quality, I don't know if anybody else is feeling the air quality, but that's like, hello, someone's infecting the air. Probably us, but I mean, that's like another thing now. And that's actually, you can't physically like go outside and breathe now. Like if you just think about, you can't go outside because you can't breathe. Like that's, that you know a lot of things are happening that is making it hard for us to just breathe so man wow that went uh, way down sorry deep we got <laughs> deep i like it it's all right okay okay <laughs> we can be deep This is, I mean, these are all like ties to where you are at with your album and yeah, kind of how it came together. And yes, there was many times the summer got depressing that it, like, I love summer. I'm a summer person and to be like, I can't go outside when it's gorgeous and sunny out because of the air quality really just um did not, it, Krista did not do too well during those times because she couldn't go outside. Same, made it same. So, I don't know, but the 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 album is hopefully it's fun and brings light to dark and from dark situations and you know I hope it it it's a little more um I don't. I don't want to say touching, but a lot of, I think more songs have like a, like a, even if they sound like really aggressive, there's still a very kind of softness, I hope that people can feel when they listen to it. So, yeah. Considering the topics, it is a really fun, upbeat album, like. We got deep, oh. but like, I don't know. It makes me think of like Maria Issa released and very, uh, like a couple very upbeat albums during the pandemic, but she released one where she started recording like March, 2020. And I said, are you kidding me? Because this is the most upbeat, happiest album. And you were recording that and you were feeling great. And she, yeah. I just went in the basement or not in the basement. Sorry, I went in my recording. I'm not sure where the recording studio is. So she went, right? I don't know why mine would be in a basement if I had one, but she went into her studio, just recorded and was in an, so that's kind of where the parallels are for me with, you know, what you're talking about and kind of when she was talking about her albums too, where it's these darker times, but bless you and thank you for putting out like upbeat, fun music amongst all of this and I know that's your style I like it's also Maria Issa's style but it helps me these are the things that help me <laughs> through all of that's, it well thank you I that's I love hearing that and Maria Issa is definitely we've got we've got she's a good friend of mine and we've done music together I've played for her before and we've collaborated and Obviously, now she <laughs> holds a seat in council, and um, yeah, I I, lo- I like I really enjoyed her more recent stuff way more than her past. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, um, I it is kind of my style to do like upbeat stuff but I don't think a lot of people know that they do come most of my songs are like just because 
I, I need a break from, you know, the, the crappy hard stuff that happens. Um, to put it lightly, but yeah. But hopefully, I, I mean, some of the songs on my album that are slower are more heartfelt and more straight, like straightforward, like this is a this is a deep song, you know, because I, yeah, I'm trying to be a little bit more transparent in terms of like my delivery, I guess. Um, I don't know what that means, but yeah. Anyways. Let's let's talk about the big party coming up, the gathering of sorts. <laughs> yeah, I'm really nervous about it. I'm really nervous, but I'm really looking forward to it because I just want to put the, these songs out in the world for everybody to hear. And it's September 15th at the Hook and Ladder. Um, Diane Miller is going to be playing a solo set by herself. Um, she's the host of the local show at The Current. Also, she does like everything else. She's a rapper. She's a writer. She's amazing um, and very intelligent. Um, and then we have a band called Fifth House. And I saw them play. The first time I saw them play, I was just like, yes. Thank you. Yes. It's um, a trio, or they play as a trio. They have a drummer, but I think they have, it's mainly um, the two front people, a bass player and a guitar player. And it's like soulful grunge music. It's so, it's like a mix and it kind of goes on that spectrum and it's so good. And they do harmonies and it's like, oh my God, where am I? Not here. And it's hosted by Sarah McPeck, who is a comedian. She also is a writer and a performer and a producer and everything else. She's awesome. And this is kind of a new addition, but my friend Tasha Barron, who has been in many bands um, and she's just a fantastic instrumentalist and person in general. It's her birthday and she will be playing like the welcome come in music oh um yeah and she might have some special guests i don't know but it's september 15th and my band is playing and i would just love to have everyone there um or just you if that's all you're feeling if you just want to go by yourself that's totally cool too uh it is it is um on the website is 21 plus however anybody it's all ages if you are with a chaperone or an adult so please bring your kids it's one night one late night that'd be awesome and yeah that's what it is please come <laughs> that sounds amazing what a great lineup yeah I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm actually more excited to see them because I I haven't seen Dan, Diane in a long time and she's got a beautiful voice. And then the band is just like, I've only seen them a handful of times and I just need another, another time. <laughs> <laughs> and what better way to do it? You rope them in. Like, I'm having a party. Now you need to perform at it. <laughs> yep. Do it. Yes. And, that, and I do want to say Diane is so talented I just actually saw her I mean I've seen her perform a few times over the years but I saw her Saturday night with part of First Ave at the fair where she was part of the house band and she sang oh my gosh she sang like a Rage Against the Machine song I was I mean yeah. she did many others and was like backing and playing multiple instruments and she is very talented I I hate Diane Miller I no, I'm totally joking. We're like, it's Miller time. We're both Millers. So our joke is like, it's Miller time. Yeah. Because we're like, I think we have a lot of things in common. Um, Because we are both multi-instrumentalists. 
um, she, she can rap. I cannot. I would never, ever say I can rap or I'm a rapper. Uh, but she is amazing at it. And she's got, I mean, she, I think she graduated with a music degree. So she better be a good musician. <laughs> no, she is a really, and she is so nice. She's such a good, a good person. Um, as I backed her as well, uh, played guitar. And um, she's awesome to work with. And just awesome to hang out with and talk with and know and listen to. Wow. I, I'm i still cracking up over the It's Miller time. I didn't even think about that. That is the best. Hey, oh. September 15th. It's Miller time. <laughs> <laughs> Miller. Not sure. I would take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Um, like, how do I, where do I go now? Um, <laughs> so, this <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know this is um okay. <laughs> That's nice. We got we got this. We got this coming back. So the album is also out September fifteenth, right? Yeah. And people yeah. can get it. Will it be streaming or on Bandcamp or we have physical copies. What's happening? Um, it'll be on all platforms, um, media wise. Like, yeah, uh, Bandcamp. I think maybe CD Baby. I think uh, iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, all that stuff. You can find it at my website, I made a song dot com. I know, it's just I M A Y D A song.com and then you can find all the information there all right that's fantastic congrats again on your new release infected out september 15th you will not be disappointed people this is a great album thank you please please come to the show yes and also everyone go to that show september 15th Yes, hook and ladder, fifteenth. You're yes. always in good hands at the hook and ladder. Yeah, they they keep on getting better. They're really they're working. They work hard. They do, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mina, thank you so much for coming on the show tonight. Thank you, thank you.